And the neat part about these books is that they're in a box that belonged to Grandpa and Great Grandpa when they ran their milk business. They used this stuff called Cleansate. It was a li liquid bacterial side, bactericide, or however you say that. And it's what they used to clean uh, the trucks and their milk handling equipment and stuff like that. Pretty neat. Beloit, Wisconsin, made in the USA. You don't see that much anymore, or at all, come to think of it. <laughs> okay. We'll get into these popper electronics. Now, you guys are going to like these. These are neat. I enjoyed looking through these. And here we are, October 1954. And these are all in pretty, pretty doggone good shape. And this was a, uh, for those of you who didn't know it, I didn't know these, I didn't, I've heard of them before, I didn't know what they were all about. Poplar Electronics was uh, a, a, a magazine, I should say, for uh, inventors or hobbyists that, uh, that dabbled in radio, TV, RC, RC cars, high fine electronics. And you could build stuff, repair stuff. Um, I don't know what this means by first issue. I guess this must have been the first issue of this particular magazine. He's got two of them here, which I didn't realize that. All these out here are doubles. These are doubles. These are doubles. This stack over here are doubles. So this particular magazine here from October 1954 deals with radio control of models, fun with neon bulbs, uh, your kits of the month. And it says, so you want to be a ham. Uh, construction details on capacity, operated relays, light meters, speaker cabinets, code practice sets, crystal receivers, and electronic fire alarms. Neat stuff. Neat, neat stuff. And on the back, we got an advertisement for a national NC98 ham radio receiver. 149.95. <laughs> More repair at home. There's a radio kit advertisement. Build your own TV sets. Pairing for all electronics. The Super Pocket Radio. Transmic Radio Lab. Here's a an advertisement for Ryder Schematics, John F. Ryder Publisher out of New York. Crystal type broadcast receiver. There's a home built amplifier. The under chassis view. Pretty simple. In fact, you got two electrolytics under the chassis and a couple can electrolytics on the top side of your chassis. Three tube. Home book speaker enclosure. It's got all the blueprints here for it. Build your own fire alarm. Not sure what this is a wiring diagram for. Build your own bike radio. <laughs> Check that out. I'll be. Here's our schematic for it. I'll be darn. Yeah, that's some neat stuff. You just don't see that anymore. Here we are in November 1954 tinkering with RC controlled airplanes. Black lights. <laughs> model trains, which Grandpa was in the model trains too. This is December 1954. There's an advertisement for Helicrafters. The model S94, S95. There's a model S38D. 
fifty dollars for one of them, and this one down here is a sixty dollars. <laughs> That's for nineteen fifty four. This is over here to nineteen fifty five in February. And we talk about radio controlled garage door openers. Two tube broadcast band receiver. How a cathode ray tube works. Here's an advertisement for universally loudspeakers. How a crafter's at again. Here we are in March of 55. Grandpa's got his name on there. Property of his. <laughs> the advertisement for Halicrafters again. The Theremin. Learning how to play the Theremin. Built a novice 25 watt transmitter, which is illegal now. <laughs> I don't know uh, what it's being used for. Miniature power supplies, low cost, cost microphones, first pocket tape recorders, cool stuff. April 1955. Here in May of 55, we're tinkering with model planes again. Here we're talking with light beams. Building a Bakersfield uranium story, or Bakersfield uranium story, I should say. Home built Geiger counter. Uranium prospecting issue. <laughs> Geiger counter probes. Radio control, printed circuitry. You could tell we were still borderline wartime with some of this stuff. Hi fi record chambers, changers. Build your own stroboscope for record changers. Turntables and tone arms. Introducing Puzzletronics. Useful audio oscillator, electronic Xmas Christmas toys, improving speakers, and a slave photo flag. It's a picture of a father and son assembling a kit. That's that's cool. And I said stuff you don't see. Here we are in January 1956. Artist rendering of a guy with his record collection. It says Hi Fi with disc jockey Martin Walk. So, what kind of radio is it, guys? Somebody's got to recognize it. <laughs> it's funny, this was delivered. Let me make that out. It says December 23rd, 1955. Here's kits by Cabin Art for speaker enclosures. Now notice they changed their uh, labeling under the title here. These say Hi Fi Amateur Radio, Radio Controlled, SWL, and Gadgets. These older ones said radio, TV, RC, hi fi, and electronics. Here we're talking about submarine tax, attacks, build your own electronic banjo. <laughs> Here's 
There's a guy receiving and transmitting out of his vehicle. Connecting tape to a hi fi system. EMC Electronic Measurements Corporation out of New York. It's got all kinds of tube testers and RF and AF crystal makers, TV bar generators, oscilloscopes, vacuum tube voltmeters. <laughs> Truth about radar speed traps. There yeah, were. Moss Electronic Distribution Company. Superior's brand new model TC55 tube tester for $27. And, uh, old radio, Al, don't you have one of these? A, uh, genometer? Is that how that's pronounced? It's a uh, RF signal generator, a crosshatch generator, a dot pattern generator, a marker generator, a variable audio frequency generator, and a bar generator. Forty-eight dollars. That is uh, May of. 1956. Hubba hubba. <laughs> Radio telephones for everyone. In the back here we have uh, tube testers from Moss again. And uh, here's a Superior TC55 again. And uh, I actually looked at one of these on eBay a while back. Uh, it's a Superior model TV-11, and uh, the cabinet's all wood, just like my uh, Superior 450B I have. It's all wood. Weld wood, I think they call this stuff. Uh, it's got your chart in there, your roll chart for your tubes. This one tests four, five, six, seven. Octal, lock-in, peanut, bantam, hearing aid, thyriotron, miniatures, sub-miniatures, novals, novals, sub-miners, proximity fuse types, etc. Self-cleaning action lever switches. Forty-eight bucks. I think that's. With shipping, that's probably pretty close to what them were going for on the, the one I looked at on eBay about a month ago or so. There's a single transistor megaphone, an impedance checker. Here's your piece of test equipment, Al. I'm pretty sure that looks like the one you showed us. <laughs> I could be wrong. Here's a Superior Model 670A. BTVM. August of 1956. Home built ears detect distant aircraft. Like I said, you could tell we were on the cusp of wartime efforts. Here we are in uh, September of 1956. She's holding a Regency. Radio. I found an advertisement in this one for Allied Radio. And the night kits they used to have you could put together. Just kind of like the Heath kits and stuff. Let's send in this card and see if we can get us a 1957 catalog. <laughs> Here's a... Uh, Advertisement for Sam's. And this is when Radio Shack was Radio Shack. Looky here.
the Regency ATC-1. Here we're talking about Hi-Fi with records and tape. How to build low-cost Christmas toys for your kids in a pinch at the boot. <laughs> December of 56. Now we're over here to January of 57. Becoming a ham operator. Foreign and shortwave programs in English and stations in time. Uh, talking about why I choose a career in electronics. Here's a Superior Model 76 capacitor bridge, resistance bridge. Here's selecting your own. Hi fi and building your own. Hmm. The world was a different place then. How about using radio on your boats? We're talking about using little amplifiers to broadcast from here to here, or vice versa. And then we're starting to talk about computers here. Kohler versus the FUNAC computer, June of 1957. Listen to the radio while flying. Phone completes kit station. Build your own AM reception booster. I five report on sixteen RPM records. <laughs> I'm talking about multiple speakers for the very best on hi fi. He got himself a electro voice woofer in there. Here we're talking about save your old radios. How to tape off the air broadcasts. I gotta check this one out when it's talking about saving your old radios. I'm curious to know what they mean by that. Save that old radio, page 85. Got a gold mine and current converters and parts waiting to be used. Don't let the little woman toss out that old radio. It's full of nuggets waiting to be dug. <laughs> Talking about taking power supplies and transformers. Connect a power tool in series with the radio and vary its speed by removing one or more tubes. <laughs> you can use two bases as cable plugs. Incredible. So complete shortwave radio listings. And uh, tricks of tape splicing, building a throbbing vibrato. 
shall be. Alright, we gotta turn around over here now. Might get a little dark. This is uh, January of 1958. Talking about building hi fi amplifiers and tuning meters, pocket bolt meters. Building a portable battery proximity relay. It says tubes play games. March of 1958, that's the year my dad was born. Actually, today's his birthday. The 30th of March of 58 was when he was born. Make your own pickup for stereo records. Huh. What are we talking about? Installing transistor radios in a car. Relieve your vacation with snapshots and sound. Starting to get into portal, portable tape recordings, reel to reels, July of 58. Here we're talking about with Moss Electronics again, Model 77 BTVMs. We've got missiles and electronics. Improving your TV picture by modernizing the antenna system. Homemade satellites. <laughs> Computer plays tic tac toe. December 1958, Christmas fun with electronic robots. Hmm. And then lastly, we got uh, a few here from 1959. This is Troubleshoot Your Projects. How to build a transistor record player and an FM pocket radio. February of 59, we're shooting electronics into space. March of 59, we're troubleshooting the ACDC radio. April of 1959, we're talking about using VTVMs. May of 1959, we're talking about uh, color TV projectors, how to build a 6 meter ham station, fix your car radio, and lastly, the very last one, June of 1959, special report on stereo records and hams go on video. Neat stuff. You just don't see that kind of stuff anymore. So, y'all, I hope you enjoyed uh, checking these out with me. I wanted to share them because there's a lot of neat stuff here. If there's anything you want to see in more depth that you just seen in passing through here, you know, message me and we'll we'll check it out. Thanks for watching.